Hey everybody, I'm back. It's April 2nd, and today's song is Across the Great Divide by Kate Wolf. So I'll do some talking afterwards, but why don't we just get to the song, and those that just want to hear the song can then leave and don't have to listen to a lot of other jabber by me. I've been walking in my sleep, counting trouble. Instead of sheep Where the years went I can't say I just turned around And they'd gone away I've been sifting Through the lair Of dusty books Faded paper They tell a story I used to know that happened so long ago it's gone away in yesterday and I find myself on the mountainside where the rivers change direction across the great divide I hear the owl gently calling as the night, the night is falling with a question I reply, but he's gone across the borderline, it's gone away in yesterday, and I find myself on the mountainside where the rivers change direction across the great divide the finest hour I've ever seen is the one that comes between edge of night and the break of day that's the time the darkness rolls away it's gone away in yesterday and I find myself on the mountainside where the rivers change direction across the gray it's gone away in yesterday And I find myself on the mountainside Where the rivers change direction Across the Great Divide Kate Wolf, Across the Great Divide. I love the song. I've always wondered, though, it's like it starts out with those first two verses. You know, she's pacing at night and whatnot, and then she's sifting through papers. They tell a story. She, you know, but then she doesn't tell the story. She's talking about the owl singing and the nicest thing. So it's kind of like, uh, hey, I'm going down that road, and then, oh, well, we're just going to go that way. But I still love the song. It just seems a little... I was waiting for the story when I first started to learn the song. Okay, so, in terms of guitar technique, one of the things, if you play your G, and I play my G with these three fingers, I don't use my index finger, and the, the great thing about that is, and a lot of people will do it like this, is that it allows you to drop a here to play a suspended G, G suspended, it's a great sound, uh, I use that a lot, or if you need to get to a C and you gotta just touch it real quick, that's, that's like I'm playing a C, but I'm doing it with a G bass, which is fine. A full C is with a G bass. So, uh, and some, there are a lot of songs where you just need that little dance of a chord where it's almost just a pluck. Um, a lot of Paul Simon songs are like that, where he'll go like, you're going to go C, 
G and D, but you have to do it like where you just touch the G, play the bass, and go right to the D. Um, so there are a lot of songs where you're not really playing with a full chord. Also, um, uh, in uh, Wind, Beneath, Wind Beneath My Wings, same technique where used to be, must have been cold there, cold there in my shadow. See, I can walk it up as opposed to must have been cold there in my shadow, which is fine. But I like adding, starting the C and walking it up. Must have been cold there in my shadow. Full C. To never have sunlight on your face. See how that works? As opposed to, to never have sunlight on your face. So that's where you don't want to go to the full C. You want to go something in between. And it's a great chord for that. Um, another chord I had to, technique I had to learn for this song was, it's a normal bass run where it's like, they tell a story. I've been walking in my sleep, counting troubles. That's bass run words. But I like to throw in a, a D, so it's counting, count, counting troubles. So it's not just a bass run, I'm actually doing a D chord. That's kind of a D. And, um, but not enough time to go to a full D, and you don't want the sound of the full D. And that's the great thing that you, when you're starting to make arrangement, count in trouble. See, there's that, as opposed to. See, it's just the, it's just the, the F sharp that you hear. Otherwise, you hear this. Totally different, and I think it helps the voice. So enough of that backroom chat. But if you're into guitars and music and things like that, and that's a technique, I really like this. It's a variation of the D7, which I play a lot of my D7s this way with the F sharp bass as opposed to this F sharp. Because these two strings are the same note. They're just two octaves apart. All right, that's it from Rio Vista tomorrow. I think I know what it's gonna be, but I will reveal that tomorrow because I don't want to commit. All right.